Today on Munson Made This, I have just a really quick, easy tutorial for you showing you how to cook and cut a spaghetti squash. And there are so many ways that people do it, but what I'm gonna show you today is by far what I think is just like the easiest, the best. And the cool part about this is, is that it yields the best type of noodle. So you'll get long, cool noodles like spaghetti or ramen style noodles that you can use in a ton of different recipes. So uh, let me show you how I do that. The best way I have found to cook this squash is to cook the thing whole without cutting it. And before you do that, you need to just poke it with a fork or a knife to get a bunch of holes in there just so it doesn't explode. And then you wanna put this into an oven at 375 degrees for one hour, and you're going to flip it halfway through. So once that hour is up, you should be able to feel just like a slight give on the skin and then you can take it out. And you wanna let it cool for about an hour just so that you can handle it. And uh, now I'll show you how I cut it and take the noodles out. The structure of the spaghetti squash here uh, has the noodles basically running circular this way. So most people cut the spaghetti squash like this and what happens is they're only getting half of those noodles. So what I like to do is cut it in half this direction so that you are left with the noodles intact. And you can actually see when I open this up here that the noodles are actually running in a circular direction this way. And it looks like one of my seeds was starting to grow inside. So yeah, so that's why you wanna cut it that direction so that you keep these noodles intact. This spaghetti squash has essentially three different types of consistency here. You have the seeds and the sort of membrane that we're gonna take out here. You have the noodles, and then you have just a little bit of an edge here where it doesn't really noodle out. You just have sort of like solid squash. So first thing we wanna do is to take out the seeds. I find the best tool to remove the seeds is a fork, and you just kinda of wanna to start to kind of over a bowl, just start to pick out the seeds. Now you'll see that the noodles will start coming out and you have like a darker brown consistency. That's the, the stuff from the inside that holds all the seeds in. So you wanna try to get as much of that out as well. And uh, yeah, at this point you will be starting to pull some of the noodles with you, but um, your goal is to just get the seeds out. I have most of the seeds out. We may find a couple as we start to pull more of these uh, noodles out, but now it's time with a clean bowl to just start to use the fork and kind of just go around the squash and start to liberate it. Now you want to be, you know, firm enough to be able to get them out, but you want to try not to be too, too um, hard on them because you do want their structure to stay intact. And you can already see how incredible these are coming out really long, luxurious spaghetti squash noodles. And like I said, there's essentially the three textures. You have that internal CD type texture, uh, you have the noodles, and then you have kind of this like thicker squash area on the outside. So we'll try our best just to liberate all of the noodles from that. And uh, that outside layer, even though it's not noodly at all, uh, it's still really tasty and they can be used in a bunch of dishes as well. At this point, I have most of the noodles liberated, uh, and now I'm just gonna go around and try to kind of just find the, the ends of them. You might hit a point where, again, you just hit that firmer outside layer, and uh, it's pretty much as far as you can go. I'm just being a little bit more aggressive at this point. At the end. So that's pretty much all of the noodles that I can get out of there. Uh, again, the stuff around this edge is really delicious to eat. It just doesn't have the same noodle-like consistency, or at least it won't have the same kind of uh, full strands that I'm looking for here. So, well, here is a bowl of these amazing spaghetti squash noodles. You can see how long they are. A little of that internal membrane in there. Not a big deal. We can either fish it out or just eat it. So. Um, 
yeah, so go ahead and make this and prepare because I have really an amazing recipe video for you on Monday that's gonna use this. Uh, and I'll probably have another video on Thursday of next week to show you some great sauces to go on this. So yeah, get yourself to the store, get you a spaghetti squash, cook it this way. I promise it is like a complete game changer for this. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. Make this squash, I'll see you next time. Subscribe to this channel so you make sure that you are notified. Click that bell so you know when those new videos arrive, so. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a great time.